Ready. All right, here we are again. I hope it remembered my passcode. It did. All right, we are now on a set of skis today. And I gotta remember how to play. Well, that's right. We gotta, we gotta have our hand on the shift button. So that way we can crouch easily. Hello there, kid. Oh yeah, it's the creepy sign. <laughs> hey kids, you want free demon hearts? We got some chill music today, though. This is good. This is what I need to calm down after the uh, the disaster of Backyard Baseball. I also gotta think of a great thumbnail for that. Maybe Raytran going Super Saiyan. Whee! <laughs> Alright, thanks, Mello. Have a fantastic night. Even though it wasn't Ray Tran, who was the best part of their team! That was Rodriguez. What? What? <laughs> I did, but I didn't touch that. 25 cents for snow cones, even though there's snow everywhere. Could be worse. Could be fried snow. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, I did. That level was way easier than the last one. I... I'm helping you chill. I'm so happy. Honestly, that that is something. Like, I think I've mentioned before, I really stream for me. <laughs> where I'm just like, I, I have fun streaming. If other people enjoy it, great. But I do gotta say, whenever I... I've had people a couple of times reach out to me and be like, Hey, I want to say, like, your content has really helped me, like, relax or... What was that hitbox? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is that hitbox? No, but like when people are like, yeah, your streams have really helped me like relax or calm down after a rough day, that that always make that makes my heart very warm. Makes me feel like I'm actually having an Im a positive impact in the world. And not just like, hey, <laughs> I'm pursuing impulsive pleasures. This is a good idea. <laughs> the Slay OC. <laughs> Uh, she has a name. Don't remember it. Yeehaw, Sheriff... <laughs> the Sheriff Snowman. I picked up a bonus piece. Yeah, you did. I picked up a bonus piece. Oh, that's a rejected character from Cars, right there. Actually, there's a lot of reject car characters. <gasps> I love the hand-drawn art style in the Humongous Entertainment games. Oh, Santa, your sleigh is here! We don't know what Santa will say <laughs> when we say that we've lost his sleigh. Hey Shaggy, welcome! <laughs> uh, welcome to Pajama Sam Lost and Found, a old childhood classic that I never played. I hope you're ready to hear the same sound clip over and over again. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? <laughs> The whole stream on Twitch and YouTube thing that we talked about is actually working pretty great. Watch for stuff. Oh, dude! Those are the best snowmen I've ever seen. We... What? The hitboxes in this game are definitely questionable. And by that I mean they are completely wonky and broken. No! Oh, I need the radio! I need the radio! Yeah, I'm on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. It, it was so easy to WHAT IS THIS HITBOX?! <laughs> this is such a precise jump to jump over this and still grab the radio. Look at that! What on earth is this?! Oh, we get the high score. Okay, uh, we beat Potter, so... <laughs> Malfi. <laughs> Draco. Scared Potter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let, let's try that again. Doo -doo -doo. All right, the, the snowmen are ice fish fishing, but like not fishing in the ice; they're fishing for ice. Which I guess that makes sense. Oh. 
Okay, the comic book is not too hard. But the radio is like... Psh, someone did not playtest this. Like, look at that! I didn't even come close to the flag, and also apparently the flag is like a solid brick wall. It's like, oh, did you kind of get near the flag? Oh my gosh, I did it. That was the hardest video game challenge ever. <laughs> Hollow Knight got nothing to me! <laughs> I like Mega Man 2. But yes, Mega Man 2 is very difficult. No, I, no, no question. Hello there, kids! <laughs> Imagine if you were driving down the road in real life and there was just a yellow sign that said, hey, hi, hi there, kids. Like, you guys would be kind of weirded out by that, right? I love how every time we hit something, it makes it sound like a pie splatting in someone's face. Yeah, yes, I'm so proud of you, the Pajam Sam. The thing is, in order to move Pajama Sam at a very fast rate, I have to move my mouse cursor off the screen. Which often means if I have to click during that, it clicks out of the screen. I'm sorry. Was that actually the bridge hitbox? Snowman at work. Oh, is that so? We did it. Apparently not. Oh, by MM2 you meant Mario Maker 2, not Mega Man 2. I mean, both work, because Mega Man 2 has some sadistic spike puzzles. I forgot about Mario Maker 2. I made one level for it, and nothing else. I did clear the story mode levels, though. They were fun. Oh, yes! Invincibility. Mega Man 2 is hard, but it's still my fi What the heck? <laughs> Cedric Diggory. <laughs> Cedric Diggory Potter and then Draco. The thing about Mega Man, I really, really like Mega Man until you get to the Fortress stages. The Fortress stages are not fun. I love the Robot Master stages, not the Fortress stages. Because the Fortress stages are just like, how sadistically difficult can we make this? And it's not fun! Whereas the Robot Master stages are like, you could do them in any order. You get powers whenever you beat one. So that's actually a strategy for which order you do things in. Plus, the Robot Masters just make for much more fun bosses than just, like, it's a big thing that Wily made. Is there a mod for this where it shows the hitboxes? Because that would be a very nice mod to install. Crash Man's fi all of the music in Mega Man 2 is great. I think my favorite has to be Quick Man's theme, though. I love Quick Man. Or Flash Man. Flash Man's theme was really good, too. Why is there a traffic light here in Antarctica? We did it! Why do I get the feeling that Shaggy's gonna screenshot some part of this stream and, and Photoshop himself in it again? <laughs> Doggone it! The stupid flag! So <laughs> it's like Shaggy's driving one of the bulldozers in the background. I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. I hate the hitboxes in this game. <laughs> what was that? Takes up the whole freaking screen. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's actually, like, moving obstacles now. Okay. We're gonna have to start breaking out the, uh... 
the spin dash. Bubble Man... Like I said, all of the music in Mega Man 2 is great. Bubble Man is really good as well. That was not the spin I inputted. Game over. So in this game, Pajama Sam is just constantly under his bed. So what the heck is happening when he's bumping into stuff? Alright. I picked up a bonus bird. You need to give it a very wide berth. Wee hee! I wonder for the built for the built-in YouTube editor, could I just split just this part of the VOD out and keep that uploaded? Cause so I wouldn't because I don't do any editing for the Pajama Sam videos, so if I did that, I wouldn't have to bother rendering it in Sony Vegas Pro 14. That would be very nice. Ooh my lens. There we go. She talked at the very beginning of the world, where she's just like, I'm the sled! I'll help you in the ice world! And then she doesn't talk after that. There's no dialogue in this game, except for, I picked up a bonus puzzle piece! I gotta say, none of the Junior Arcades games really compare to Flip Maze Madness. Dog on a Stick was pretty good, but like, the rest of them weren't amazing. No part of me was near that hole. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just gonna need to break out the spin and hope that it works. Look at all of these bonus games I'm I'm skipping. Woo! Got to find your hat. How did you lose your hat here in the Antarctic, Sam? That guy was straight out of Car Town. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Whee! If a snowman sells snow cones, is it cannibalism? Uh... No. There's no evidence that that snow was at one point alive itself. I said spin! Look at all of these signs! How am I supposed to read all that? Pajamas Crossing? Where? I would like to nominate Pajama Sam's Lost and Found for the game with the worst hitboxes. Shaggy, I don't want you complaining about the hitboxes in Smash Ultimate anymore. <laughs> Anytime you do, I'm just going to show you a screenshot from this game. <laughs> By that token, I also can't complain about the hitboxes in Smash Ultimate anymore. <laughs> I would have a sign that says cool just in my room. That would be great. <laughs> I know, they're so bad. They must have, like... They must have drawn it, and my co I'm convinced that, like, wow. They drew the obstacles, didn't cut all of, like, the white space, the empty space out around it, and then they just made a perfect, they made the hitbox the exact square of all of the pixels in the PNG file. That's, like, that's the only explanation. I picked up a bonus piece. Wee hee! These are way worse than the hitboxes in Super Mario World. Mario World has good hitboxes. Ouch. <laughs> I picked 
Smash Ultimate has some questionable hitboxes. And then the spin just said, no, I'm not working today. What, what was that? Okay. Oh, we beat Sans. <laughs> uh, we will... How about Scoob? Like Zoinks! Scoob is stronger than uh, Sans, confirmed. Alright, guys, we gotta make it to level 60. Because then there's a new world after that. Mm mm mm! I love bad programming! Especially when there's no excuse. <laughs> It's also delightful how such a simple game requires me to use both the mouse and multiple parts of the keyboard simultaneously! How am I supposed to get through that if the spin dash doesn't even work on these half the time? Look at that! I spawned right into it! It's like, nope! <laughs> wow, this level is garbage. Why am I playing this game again? <laughs> I love Humongous Entertainment. I love Pajama Sam. That doesn't mean I have to like every aspect of the Pajama Sam franchise, though. Case in point, the fourth game. Whee! This is gonna be my commentary now, just any time I jump. Whee! Whee! There's where my radio went. Wait, th there's no spoilers in the tab? I thought I removed them and replaced them with... Oh my gosh, did I type no spoilers instead of no swearing? Okay, that's supposed to say no swearing. <laughs> Which I guess might be redundant with family-friendly, but... I had no spoilers on when I was playing Higarashi. But I definitely deleted those tags. I got the ability to fly, and it sucked me down into the snowmobile. That or the snowmobile just has a stupidly big hitbox. Also, that guy has the head of a shark. If you wouldn't say it on Peppa Pig, you probably shouldn't say it in Artie's Twitch chat. That's a good rule of thumb. Unless I'm playing like an M-rated game. I landed right on the bonus piece and it killed me! <laughs> wow! It's taking us multiple tries to get through one level. Peppa Pig has a potty mouth. Oh! <laughs> I saw a great video of Bully Maguire in Peppa Pig. It was amazing. It was amazing. Then again, I'm also just very obsessed with Bully Maguire memes, and I don't even really know why myself. For some reason, I find those memes hilarious. A dog on it! Sharky the, Sharky the Zamboni killed me. <laughs> That's pretty violent for a Pajama Sam game. <laughs> You're never gonna be on Peppa Pig. But you're British, you could... Dirt in your eye. You could be on Peppa Pig. Okay, maybe if you spin off of the geysers, it's not an offensive spin. And we all know how I feel about being offensive. This is a long level! I only just got the second thing. You gotta land on the right side of the, bon the bonus puzzle piece. That's how it is. Alright, ride like the wind, Sam. I don't care if you miss the uh, points. I just want you to pick up the uh, important stuff. Look out. I will do my best. Dog, on it! Whee! 
Okay, we picked up a nice football. Okay. Santa's sleigh, thank goodness. Get out of here. This level is so freaking long. There we go. Did I actually pick up all the bonus puzzle pieces? I feel like I didn't. Oh my gosh, this is the best. Invincibility and flight? I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. Oh, that was amazing. Why can't every level be like that? It would improve the game tenfold. Whee! Oh. Who left their sherbet out? What was I supposed to do about that? It just rocketed me right into the barricade. The snowmen are like, oh, hey, watch out, by the way. Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> hey, we found Fatty Bear. That's wonderful. Fatty Bear, despite only having one game, his presence is well known. Jeez, these levels are long. I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. What the heck? These levels are insane. Someone did better than Draco. Oh, who who did better than Draco did? Obviously. <laughs> Dobby got like 18 billion points in this game. Sorry I'm not talking much. I feel like there's only so much I can say we and man, this game is not very good. <laughs> I picked up a bonus I feel like this game just needed to be programmed a little better. That, that was I looked like I destroyed the hitbox on the barricade, but not the the barricade itself. That was Interesting. We he Ow, Santa! You betrayed me! That is not what I asked for for Christmas. Oh, ho, ho, ho! You get deaf! <laughs> not again, Santa. That's what you gave me last year. Uh, so, Toon Cat, I'll say this. I have not played, or I have not recorded Pajamas M4. Marty and I have recorded Pep's birthday surprise, and we might be seeing that before the year ends. I just hope nobody actually likes Pep's birthday surprise, because we make fun of it a lot. I don't want to play the games, but I will. Because at the very least, it, they will make entertaining content. Those games are entertaining to play. But for the wrong reasons. Well, that didn't last long. Alright, have a good night, DX. We only have five levels left. What about Water War? I'm not playing that. <laughs> For Water Worries, imagine this, but, like, with no color. It's just bland and the same level over and over again for 100 levels, and the levels are kind of long. Marty only played two levels in it. That's why she thinks it's fun. Okay, the flight literally just sucks me down in there. Would I ever play Sonic 06? Uh, 0% chance. <laughs> For a variety of reasons. Uh, one, I am a very, very, very casual Sonic fan. There are a small handful of Sonic games that I enjoy. 
but I don't really like the series as a whole. And that game is supposed to be, like, one of the worst in the series. Although the graphics are good. I'll give it that, the graphics are good. But if I only have a limited amount of time on this planet, <laughs> I don't want to spend it playing Sonic 06. <laughs> then again, I probably shouldn't be spending it playing this game, but... Well... Here we are. Alright, these levels are a lot easier than the last one. <laughs> It would be nice if we got maybe slightly different music. Like, maybe if each world had, like, I don't know, three songs instead of just one. I think that would be a nice change. Oh, that's just rude. How am I supposed to know there's that many in a row? It's just like, you have to use the spin, even though it doesn't work properly. That is our intro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe I should just take it slow. Ironically, taking it slow would probably let me get through the game faster. Immediately goes to the far right side of the screen. <laughs> Alright, here we go! It's level 59. Only one level left after this. Your mother must be so proud. It's like, Sam, did you clean your room? No, but I picked up a bonus puzzle piece. That's not what I asked you to do, Sam. Does anything happen if you get all of the bonus puzzle pieces? Uh, if you get all the bonus puzzle pieces on a level, you can play an optional bonus game that takes a long time and can give you extra points. I think that's it. I don't think it's like, you got all the bonus puzzle pieces in the whole game. You get the special secret golden ending. Nice! I feel like every serious YouTuber has an intro of some kind. I like my intro because it's short. It's short. Just like the amount of time they spent making the hitboxes in this game. Sharky! Ooh, that sounds like a good intro. Trade me for the last time, Sharky McSamboni. Come on, we just clear this and we're out of the cold. Which is ironic, because where I am right now, we're getting into the cold. Got some interesting sound effects on here. Oh, Santa! Santa baby. Well, that wore off at a very bad time. Man, Pajama Sam lost a whole lot of pieces to his board game. Whoa! -hey! Oh, that's the end of the level! Okay. You know what? It was the last level. We'll play a bonus game. We'll play the whack a mole. Click on the prizes when they jump out of the hole to get extra points. The game's over after you miss five of them. I think that's the sled talking. I 
I can't believe the sled didn't return for any other pajamas enemy. Actually, no, I can. I can believe that, as a matter of fact. Alright, let's see if I've still got the fastest fingers in the West. Or at least in the Midwest. Not quite as impressive, but... It's great concentration. You got a bonus. Yeah, that one's really easy for me. And there we have it. Our passcode is nifty. Well, that's a nifty one to remember. All right, we are now officially more than halfway through Pajama Sam Lost and Found. So just two worlds left, and I'm guessing we f encounter more OC characters. I think there's a Sky World, and I don't know if there's what the other one would be. I think if we look at... Wait, I have the box. Let me pull out the box. We might get a clue... Looking at the back, it looks like we've got... Oh, nope. It doesn't spoil the last two worlds. So it could be anything. All right, fancy. <laughs> oh, all right, well, that's going to do it for this stream. I think this first stream at both Twitch and YouTube was a success, even though we lost the baseball game. So I will definitely be continuing this for the future. Thanks for joining in, everybody. It was awesome catching up with you all and chatting with you all, and it was fun playing these games. So we will be playing more Backyard Baseball on Friday at the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you see. I hope to see you guys there. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everybody.